and Devils surpassed by what these teams have done. Three puck, Panarin! And it's in the net! Will it count? It crossed the line, but the net was off! And the officials are going to talk about it! Rangers come flying off the bench to celebrate, they think they... Crazy ending to the Stadium Series game in New York. I'm back. This is interesting to see Daily Sports Podcast News, narratives, takes, and some gambling sometimes. Tone that down a little bit. Gambling addiction out of control in this here country. We missed a little bit while I was gone. So we're going to go over some stuff. Not a lot of stuff, but a few things. Um, The first thing, uh, the thing that happened most recently is uh, Stadium Series was cool. The Islanders and the Rangers, that was cool. The Flyers, they played the Devils. Everyone dressed up like they were in Rocky, which was a neato burrito. How cool is that? But the important thing that has been happening is that the NBA dunk contest happened over the weekend, and it is a disaster. It's a joke. It's horrible. Everybody hates it. Jalen Brown. I have this video. Watch this of this guy missing this. Look at this. He's just like, uh, Ali, uh, whoop. Did you, uh, whoop. Some guy jumped over Shaq. Mac McClung won again. The white guy who's played four NBA games. He's literally not an NBA player. He's a G League player and he won. So nobody knows what's going on. Uh, the other big thing over the weekend is that Mark Zuckerberg was in UFC 298 and he was in somebody's camp. I don't know. I don't really follow combat sports and it doesn't really matter. Everyone's talking about UFC, UFC 300, which we will discuss. But there's Zuck. Look at him. There he is. Not his head. He's like, I'm, in, I'm with this guy. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch him. Watch the towel. He's like, oh, he's going to try to pass the towel. Mark, pass that. T- pa- Mark, pass the towel. Mark, there you go. Way to go, bud. Way to go, Mark. What a guy. What a hero Mark Zuckerberg is. Unbelievable. Caitlin Clark became the uh, all-time NCAA women's college points scorer, scoring champion, something. Let's do this. Marshall, here comes Clark. How will she go for history? That's the wildest, cockiest thing I've ever seen in my life. What a swag-tastic move. Look where she shot this. It is six to five they're losing in the first quarter. Marshall, here comes Clark. She's like, yeah, fuck it. Crazy. Crazy. Learn to shoot, boys and girls. Learn to shoot. No other part of the game matters. Sorry. I mean, fundamentals, shut up. Learn to shoot. If you want to be pro, go to college. Any excel at the high level, learn to shoot. Learn to shoot the basketball. <sighs> learn to shoot the basketball. We have officially entered hot take, hot take season in the off season. So the draft is a couple of weeks away, but we're in a bit of a lull until the draft, or a couple of months away, excuse me. Free agency starts, I don't know, what's today? Yeah, second, third week in February. The NFL free agency period starts in like one month from now, and then a month and a half after that is the draft. So we have a couple of weeks to get some takes off. Uh, Mike Florio of Pro Football Talk has this... Uh, poses the following question. Bill Belichick only got one interview. Pete Carroll only got, he has zero interviews. These old coaches are being relegated to the head coach status. Does the NFL have an ageism problem? Maybe. Pete Carroll not getting an interview is way, I mean, it could have been like that time in the cycle, but would you not want him? Is it too old? Maybe. I don't know. People are really upset, but uh, it's the, the election is going to be Biden v. Trump. So can old people do the job? of coaching in the NFL. Uh, It's an interesting question. The other big thing, man, MLB just sucks at everything. They are just the worst league. They change their jerseys, and people are super pissed. They look super stupid, I guess. has to do with the font being small. So on the right, these are some, I believe these are, I, I don't know. I think they're Cardinals jerseys. I don't know who it is. Abrams and Gray. Look at this. Look at Kopech. Someone that plays for the White Sox, this is what his jersey looks like. Everyone's like, it doesn't, it looks like a Little League jersey. It looks dumb. It's Nike. This has gotten so bad that the commissioner has had to respond. And here's what he has to say. Well, we always pay attention to what people are saying um, Uh uh, about any new initiative. Um, I think you know in baseball, any new initiative, there's going to be some negative feedback. Um, True. First and most important, uh, these are Nike jerseys. I mean, we entered this partnership with Nike because of who they are and the kinds of products that they produce. Um, Everything they've done for us so far has been absolutely 100% successful across Mm -hmm. the board. Sure. 
Um, the jerseys are different. They're designed to be performance wear as opposed to what has traditionally been worn, so they are going to be different. But they have been tested more extensively than any jersey in any sport. No. Uh, the feedback from the All-Star game last year where the jerseys were worn was uniformly positive from the players. So I think after people, you know, wear them a little bit, I think... I think uh, that's a good take from him, which is being like, yeah, they look weird and stupid, but uh, fuck off. I don't care. <laughs> I like... You got to take care of your players. MLB just needs to pick a lane and do literally anything well. They do nothing. They do nothing well ever. They never nail it. So if they're going to go for comfort for the players... That is at least taking a stand and doing a thing, you know, doing one thing. College baseball started over the weekend, and this dude that plays for East Carolina got beaned. So they do double headers to start the season. He got beaned, which is get hitting hit by pitch. Oh, wait, this is not the story. Hold on. There's a dude at college baseball that got beaned seven times in a double header. Seven. He had hit seven times. Here it is. Got him. First pitch just hit. How is your debut as a Hornet? I got hit by a pitch five times for updates. Here it is. The first pitch just got hit again. That's an RBI. So congratulations on your. And it, like, and it's not on purpose. It's not. I guess people are just rusty because that was a case where the bases were loaded. This dude got hit seven times. Seven. The odds of that happening are crazy. Baseball is weird. Just, if something random happens every time. I just, it's just, there's so many reps. That's crazy stuff is going to happen. Back to Caitlin Clark. Jay Williams said he has the Kobe mentality, and Caitlin Clark isn't great yet because she doesn't have a championship. I'm going to Google Jay Williams real quick because I know he's on TV. Jay Williams. Jay Williams. What has he won? Let's see. College basketball for Duke. Ah, and he played for the Bulls in the NBA. So when did he play? For the Bulls, 2002 to 2004, so definitely does not have an NBA ring. Probably has a college ring because of Coach K and all those guys. Caitlin Clark could have easily played for, like, Stanford or UConn and got a ring pretty easily, I would imagine. But she doesn't have a ring, so she's not great. Duh, people are stupid. The ring conversation really is annoying and dumb. You got to have one to be the greatest of all time, but not to be great. It's ridiculous. Dan Marino isn't a great football player. What are we talking about? Part of the reason I took last week off is I just was not in the mood to talk about the shooter situation in Kansas City. I have no updates on that. I'm not going to cover that. You know, you all have the internet. You can read about it, you know. Vibes are bad in San Francisco. Apparently, Aaron Donald wearing his Super Bowl ring to troll the Niners. Fletcher Cox and some Eagles were trolling the Niners. They ha Apparently, everybody hates the Niners. And now Brandon Ayuk... And his friend have posted on Instagram, the vibes are that if Brandon Ayuk doesn't get paid a ton of money, he is going to be pissed and leave. <clears throat> Here's Brandon Ayuk. <clears throat> Quote, don't forget what got you there, which he's suggesting that's him. It's Christian McCaffrey is what got you there. And Trent Williams, to be, to be clear, it was Christian McCaffrey and Trent Williams who got you there. And then his friend posted to Instagram also that the vibes were bad. Here's what the friend said. This is the exact reason why we leaving San Francisco. Thank you, Niners, for drafting my brother. We are forever great, bro. Why does your all-pro 1,300-yard receiver have three catches in the Super Bowl? Uh, just receivers just complain, man. I don't know. How can you complain about this? They stop. I My opinion was they stopped running the ball, started throwing, they stopped running it. And the, the Chiefs, Mahomes is great. And this is what happened to Brady. You win with offense, you win with defense sometimes when you're in these dynasties. This was a defensive win. The Chiefs had the best defense in the league, I think. I don't think that's a hot take. I don't think I'm crazy for saying that kind of thing. I think that they had the best defense in the NFL. They were great. They held the Lions 14 points. The Lions had one of the best offenses in the NFL. They held they held the Bills. Chris Jones has been their MVP um, this year, I thought. No disrespect to Mahomes. It happens. Offense and defense. So, I mean, watching the NFL play out is going to be great. Some people are thinking that the, the Steelers are reportedly considering starting Mason Rudolph. It is smokescreen season. It has officially begun. I'll look into all the draft stuff eventually. There will be time for that, I think. I'm sure that there will be time. I just cannot stop watching this. I cannot stop watching the Mark Zuckerberg thing. Grant Williams was a Celtic, and then he was a Mav, and then he got traded at 
at the trade deadline in the NBA because he won't shut up and he's annoying his teammates. Literally, everyone's saying he just wouldn't shut up, wouldn't stop yapping. It's like, dude, you got to get out of here. I respect that move.